Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Introducing the Ghost Experience. The Ghost Experience lets you choose between two different ways to play the PvE version of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Regular, the way the game was released, and immersive, a new way to experience the game. While regular lets you play with weapons and gear of different levels and rarity, immersive mode removes the notion of gear score entirely. The new tactical settings will change the way you play. New HUD settings are also available, allowing you to fine-tune your preferred level of information at any point in time. The objective of the Ghost Experience is to give you total freedom of choice. As such, you can switch between immersive and regular mode at will. Of course, you can play in co-op with players in different modes, and every setting can be tweaked so that you can create your ultimate ghost experience. All right, so welcome. This is Hill here with a public service announcement. Ghost Recon Breakpoint is free to play this weekend. That's November the 4th through the 7th uh, on all platforms. So I wanted to bring this uh, announcement to you and uh, we'll probably be playing a little bit of Ghost Recon on the channel. Welcome to Aurora, the incubator of World 2.0. My name's Jay Skell, and we've been expecting you. You've been invited here to innovate, to invent, and to create. But we're also asking you to do the most important thing with your lives that you can do. Here, away from the rest of the world, we will build the tools to lead the planet into the future a completely sustainable economy, a blossoming environment, safe homes, security for your family, and a community where innovation is celebrated. The generations that come after us may forget all about us, but they will thrive because of the work we do here. Thank you for joining Skeltech in a rule. Together, we are building two
All right, and you know what they don't say. Any landing you can't walk away from is a bad one. All right, let's get this man healed. And we are starting off in immersive mode, uh, which means that there's not all that gear grinding and, you know, getting the different levels of weapons, the green, the blue, the yellow, the purple. So you just start off with a weapon and, you know, whatever you find, you can upgrade it. We're going to start off that way, but one thing that I've discovered between the two modes is that the original mode, even with all that grinding and the different gear levels, there are bonuses that come with all of the, the gear, the, the, the gear and the weapons that, you know, make it easier for you to, to level up. Like there are bonuses like 20% um, XP uh, that you can gain. You can get that on guns and whatnot, but only on the guns in the original, you know, level up gear grind mode. In this mode, you don't get those bonuses, but, uh, you know, you do start off, I guess, with some decent weapons. And you don't have to worry about all those uh, sorts of details. So I, w I wanted to try out the immersive mode and see. But I'm kind of leaning toward going back to the original and just doing that grind. Gonna go in here and collect what we can. Oh, good. This this is a um, a new feature right here, where you can throw bullet casings that uh, will distract the enemy. And um, this was later added because this game has gone through many many iterations and improvements over the years. They've been adding things, the, the AI teammates, you know, little things like this, this bullet throw. Excellent stuff. I mean, it's just, this game is just really fun to play now. And I, I would, I really encourage it. I mean, I I had this game on the um, PS4 many years ago. I haven't played it since then, but I tell you. I am really glad to be back. We don't have enough people to search the area this big. Man, if I told you what they were up to out here, you wouldn't believe me. I don't know why we're looking for survivors. Nothing could have survived that shit. We account for everyone who was supposed to be on those birds. You got that? I'm not going to be responsible for even one of uh, those guys turning place. up alive and looking for out here. They won't last long. I'm too short for this shit. You <sighs> ain't shit. take a lot of getting used to. Let's see, an MK-17. Guess we'll take that.
Was anyone even in there? If there was, who are these guys? Holy shit. Yeah, I, I still find the uh, controls a little bit awkward here. The movement. I am using a 360 controller. A little bit awkward. I'll probably have to make some adjustments at some point. And I'm coming from uh, playing Watch Dogs Legion, another Ubisoft game, but Legion is infinitely easier than this. Infinitely, people. Open and take or dismantle. Alright, we'll take this. So here you get the opportunity to play the new DLC that just dropped uh, for this game, uh, Conquest. Um, as you say, it, you can um, see, I thought it told you that you skipped. All right, but anyhow, there we go. The story mode says it's recommended for new players and since I haven't played this game in years I'm gonna go ahead and do the story until I get uh, a bit more comfortable with this okay so we are heading out Also turn the hood, the HUD back on full until I um, get more comfortable. So I think the immersive mode it starts off with a very minimal um, HUD. in Iraq. Nobody walked away. Hey, these guys eat pain and shit hot lead. Just because you don't see them doesn't mean they're not here hiding somewhere. Look alive. <coughs> sloppy but we did it I think that's all the enemies in this hangar anyway now one of my 
complaints about this uh, game, and I don't think I'm going to have a lot of them. But it's the camera, it just is so close up on the, the guy. It's like it's hard for me to sometimes see what's going on. I would rather have it pulled back. I had made some adjustments, but I'm not seeing any difference here. All right, somebody might be in here. See, but it's like by the time I get in the door with the way this the body is blocking me, you know, I could be discovered because I can't see who's in here. parts everywhere I saw an arm by itself an arm survivors my ass who could have survived that just stay alert God, this place is a I don't want to be the guy that misses a survivor yeah, never get gets through us here. in trouble this place is huge. why do we gotta do the cleanup detail I mean before. even if someone survived that shit which there's no way they did I'm pretty sure they ain't gonna last well we better make damn sure you know stone will have our asses if he finds out someone survived and we missed them ah, negative contact they're still searching for survivors. Man, these are real deals. <laughs> we got a lot. Survive way worse than this. Keep looking. Yeah, what a mess. No one could have survived those crashes. I think maybe we should be a hundred percent sure before making any blanket statements like that, huh? Even one of those guys lived through that. We're gonna have a serious situation on our hands. There's remember. nothing moving over here, man. You're a Messy, but I'm learning. Alright, I hear more voices. I think they're off in the distance. We should be okay. This is Weaver. Come in. Over. This is Weaver. Come in. Over. Anything? Who got? Contact! Contact! doing all right well I think 
that was a character from uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands, and sadly, he did not make it. for that. Alright, hopefully nobody else heard the gunfire. You know, you see all those videos on YouTube about, uh, people with the stealth missions that they're performing and I mean they just go in and surgically execute these uh, missions and take down enemies without any discovery whatsoever I'm telling you I'm sure that they have had months of practice because th this is a game you really have to own your skills and your craft because it is a tactical shooter you just can't come in here and just shoot people and expect to survive Too. That's not good. away from something like that. Just stay alert, man. I don't want to be the guy that misses a survivor. If anyone survived that trouble. crash, they must be in real bad shape right now. We got some cool shit on this island. Bet they never saw our defenses coming. Not okay with this detail, man. Searching through dead bodies when we know ain't no one survived. Shit's gonna give me nightmares. Maybe. But we gotta make sure. Hey. Oh, shit. I didn't even see that guy. Oh, there's another one. Did not even see him.
All right, I think that's all of them. Frag grenade. I'll just just ma dismantle this one for weapon parts. Mayday, Mayday. This is Ghost Lead. Does anyone read? Five by five, Ghost Lead. Who is this? A friend. I got the radio from a ghost. This ghost still breathing. Ghost lead. You can chase the white rabbit. Or run with the red queen. Give me a sit rep. I can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Understood. Ghost lead out. this way. Yes, there are people out here. I have not figured out a good way of sneaking up on them. Team on that side. Watch your spacing. You know what to do. Let's roll. Not okay with this detail, man. Searching through dead bodies when we know ain't no one survived. Shit's going to be Heads up, grenade! Take it! Take it! Someone told me they test something new out here. Yeah, something really big and really secret. Hopefully I'm gonna learn this, the proper no angles could survive a crash like that. to approach these people. Let's keep looking. If anyone's still breathing, Herzog's gonna wanna have a nice little chat with him. that works. And let's see here. I think we've got some credits.
Yes, sir. 500. So, apparently there's nobody else out here. We'll just continue on. So these are sentinel soldiers that, um, I guess they've taken over this island. I was never quite sure who was who when it comes to the, <laughs> the so-called so bad guys. placement over there to the left, but we'll keep going for now. Yeah, the one thing that struck me about this game when it first came out is that it's like an open world Splinter Cell game. And you were, you know, a lone, oh, a lone operative. You know, they've added the uh, teammates now, but I thought it was pretty cool. Shoot him, but my rifle jammed. Hey man, I hear you, but we gotta stay focused. I don't think anyone survived. I got nothing so far. These guys are the biggest badasses the U.S. government has. Our defenses took them out like it was nothing. I got a man down over here. You got more than one. Eh, we'll keep this one. Alright, we'll take this one to Tabor. Or did I just drop the Tabor? What? No, I got it. Okay. I think we're... it's right up here. Whoop. I've still got to learn these controls. I am so used to Watch Dogs Legion. Because the, the fire button is the sprint button in Legion. So, it, And, you know, I had to stop playing Legion. I'm not... I'm done with that series that I was working on. So I can relearn my muscle memory how to play this particular game. Stop right there! <clears throat> Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense. 
You know, just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. And what's Erewhon? A cave. So we call it. Get in. Sprinting in this using the 360 controller is going to be with the um, what is this the left place? stick. So it's it's an adjustment. Are you boys all right or what? The only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? God damn. Our mind's blown. Yep. And they're friendly, more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. You boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tiny with some troops out there who were calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aro went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, the choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, there's some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skeltech is still making all the high tech stuff they always make, except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J Skell advertised. Where can I find J Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but. His drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? We're just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. Are you guys checking out this eye contact? You ever wonder what's on the other side of all this? <laughs> all right. Well, guys, I'm going to bring the uh, video to a close here. Again, this was a public service announcement that Ghost Recon Breakpoint is free to play November 4 through 7 on all platforms. Hope you enjoy it. I hope you play it. I highly recommend it. And I will be bringing you more of Ghost Recon on my channel. This is Hill, and I'm out. Yeah.